So guys, if you haven't already heard over the past few days, Tesla has officially confirmed the date and location for the RoboTaxi unveil. And although this is really exciting stuff, there is a lot more to what's going on that you may not know. Now rolling back just about a month ago, we were all really disappointed on the news that Tesla had originally planned to unveil the RoboTaxi on August the 8th, but it was delayed further for some final minute changes. According to internal news, the date was pushed back to October the 10th due to a request for a front end design change by Elon himself, and Elon later confirmed the details also hinting that there would be more to show at the event with the delayed date. And although we now have confirmation that there is a lot more to show, there is still both sides to the table. Some expectations are set very low, believing that this would simply be a prototype with further years to develop, but others would believe that this is going to be a complete unveil with the RoboTaxi available to test drive and the service to be activated soon after. But now that Tesla has decided on a more realistic date, October the 10th is is going to be the day where at the very minimum a robo taxi is going to be unveiled to the world. In addition to their master plan part 3 where they will be showcasing the design and plans for the robo taxi, they are going to also enable a ride hailing service that allows owners to put their personal vehicles into the system, working for them autonomously during downtimes. And although there is no doubt going to be a lot of logistics and caveat to this, this is the best thing you can wish for being a Tesla owner. Alright, so with everything going on in the past couple of weeks, we have finally gotten some more concrete evidence and information of what we can be expecting to come during this planned event. According to a new report from Bloomberg, Tesla is planning to show off its RoboTaxi platform and additionally going to be showing a few new things that wasn't originally planned. Tesla initially planned to hold its unveiling event on August the 8th, showing off a vehicle that wasn't necessarily complete, requiring some slight modifications to the design, but now on October the 10th, we are expecting to see a vehicle that is practically done and will be the robo-taxi we see on the roads in the near future. Not only that, but according to Bloomberg and people familiar with the matter, the vehicle will be fully operational on the date and will likely be giving out demos and test drives during the event. Another interesting part about all this is the location has been confirmed to be set at the Warner Bros studio at Burbank, California. This is where the entire unveiling is going to take place. Tesla's choice for Warner's Bro Studio is no coincidence. For the presentation of the RoboTaxi, this is actually quite genius. First off, the location is iconic, being one of the greatest highlights of what California is known for. Warner's Bros. Studio has been the filming location for various movies and shows including Friends, Twister, Interstellar, and Aquaman. It's essentially the location for all the greatest films ever produced with 31 different stages, over 130 acres of lands, fake props, and buildings making it feel as though it's all real. The second reason why Tesla chose this location is they want it to be something completely completely new and interactive. Unlike all prior vehicle announcements, they don't just want to present a vehicle but rather perform a complete demo representative of the real world. And last, the most important part of their decision to go with the Warner Studio is to give a live demo within an enclosed area. It's so that it can be conducted safely without affecting the public road. So this is all really exciting news and we are literally just one month away. But before we jump to any conclusions, let's take a look at what Tesla has been doing over the past week and what they have been doing behind the scenes to get this performance to be perfect. According to another news piece by Bloomberg, over the past few days, ever since October 28th till now, Tesla has been doing some extensive data collection specifically in the location of the event. This is in addition to other key areas that will eventually host the RoboTaxi test drives, specifically the Tesla Diner, the various locations in San Francisco and Bay Area. Now in a response to value analysts on Twitter, a famous Tesla hacker Green the Only has some very very interesting points about the RoboTaxi event. Green's response was a definite sure. The ones where you ordered off the side of the street and not on a special day at a special location hinting at what Tesla is doing during this event. In further responses, he adds that these few days of extensive data collection that Tesla has been doing to the Warner's Bro Studio is likely to pre-map the entire area in high detail and running it continuously for perfection rather than letting it run naturally as intended. 
ended. Now, extrapolating what Green has said, this could mean one of many things. The first one would be that Tezza could be pre-planning the path throughout the entire studio, making sure that nothing unintended will happen. This would essentially mean that the robo taxis are running on rails and it will not deviate from that path. There is going to be extensive paths throughout the entire studio, so whatever has been pre-selected, it's going through that direction. Now, the next obvious one and the most likely one could be that they are running a lot more of their Tesla fleet throughout the entire studio, gathering as much data and detail as possible to ensure that everything has been detected before the event takes place. Then for the last one here and the one that Green has indicated, it could be that they are planning for LiDAR to be running through the entire studio, detecting down to pinpoint accuracy every component of this area. So everything is going to be running flawlessly. This is going to be what the event is going to be about. Now, as much as I hope that this is not going to be the case, this is not too far-fetched of an idea either. It is in Tezza's best interest to keep this event as seamless and as perfect as possible throughout the entire time. This is going to be live streamed. It's going to be posted all over for the world to see so they don't want any critical mistakes to happen during this unveiling. This is practically the break it or make it moment for Tesla and the ride hailing service and the entire company could be dependent on this very day. Now, in my opinion, all this could just be a precaution and the car will autonomously drive, although it's going to be pinpointed down with very clear accuracy just to ensure that this is going to be one of the most seamless event Tesla has ever hosted. They are going to be the next ride hailing service in the very limited space that Waymo and Cruise has overtaken. So we really want this to work out, not just for the investors, but for the entire world to see. Now what's further interesting about this is that in the latest report that we have from Tesla, they have done a recent filing indicating that their robo taxi is going to have a very specific and interesting design. It is going to have the interior seats facing each other without a steering wheel, meaning that you are able to do a full-on conversation without worrying what the car is doing. Now, this is something we have never seen before in any of the vehicles available on the market today, be it in China or in the US. Waymo in Cruise, you are still sitting in the back seat or the passenger seat. So this is the very first and we are going to be able to experience this on October the 10th. So yeah, whatever the case may be, it may not be as simple as what you see on the surface. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Anybody that is more knowledgeable in this area, please let us know in the comments below the pros, the cons of what Tesla is planning to do. I will keep my eyes out on any more information regarding this event before it happens. So make sure you stick around and hit that subscribe and that bell notification if you haven't already done so and follow me on Twitter. You will hear the latest over there. You guys can chat with me, DM with me anytime, and I will try to respond as quickly as possible. But anyways, this should be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.